I was challenged to a battle of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today I was sent a package and challenged to a pack battle. You guys might have seen me battle GG Vision before. He has once again sent me some packs. We're gonna be doing an epic pack battle, so you guys can check out his video afterwards. We also have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Invader of Darkness Invasion of Chaos. This is an original print and a token Karibo. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know who won the battle, me or GG Vision. Let's get right into it. I can't even remember what we're opening, so, but, uh, so I'm pretty excited. I went ahead and skipped through the package opening, so we got right to the packs. We have Lord of Tachyon Galaxy, Cosmo Blazer, Storm of Ragnarok, and Shadow Spectres. All could have ultimate rares and ghost rares. We also have his Patreon power pack, which we will open up. These have sometimes had some pretty epic cards inside, so let's see what's in here. We should probably cut this thing open. Here we go. Let's see. It's like a mega pack almost that is created by him, so let's check it out. It's like uh, literally a starter deck in here. Contact. We've got the Fossil X. Let's go like this. Venom Burn. Venom Shot. we got the Venom Serpent. Oh, Oversoul. Misfortune. Dark Lucius. Zero Knight. Vendred Battle Lord, this is the first super. We've got a Despian Q. This card's worth a little bit. I always just call it Q. It's just a lot easier to say. Stellar Knight, uh, Constellar Diamond. Okay, nice. Toon Goblin Attack Force. Very cool. A rare. We got a Blade Edge. Awesome. Air Knight Parshath and a Do Sulfur Gord Coolia. So some pretty cool cards in there. All right, let's get into these Ghost Rare packs. I'm really excited because I always enjoy opening these. These are first edition, by the way, which is pretty cool. I enjoy opening packs that could potentially have Ghost Rares. By the way, if you guys have not heard or seen, we do have a Pharaonic Guardian first edition box break. We have sold out of over two thirds of the pack, so we're getting close to the end. Once we sell that out, we're gonna do a live stream as usual on YouTube, and I'm, I'm hoping we can do that by Thursday. Today should be Wednesday when you're seeing this. So I will have that linked below in the comments and in the description if you guys wanna buy some of those packs. And if you are a member, you do get a discount per pack, so just keep that in mind. Well, let's go into the Storm of Ragnar. This is first edition, Mimir. We have never pulled the Odin Ghost Rare. I don't know if you guys have heard that, but uh, Akari Curry Ninja. And the uh, Tangnoskster. Okay, all right. Another, uh, another nothing. Right, next pack, we've got a Cosmo Blazer. I will say, uh, every time we've done a battle, I've not pulled anything good. So let's see if we can break that streak and uh, actually pull something good against him. We have a Heraldi Change, Abyss Scale of Cestus, a Mary Lease, Fire Formation Tinkin. And the Brushfire Knight, just a regular rare. All right, and the Shiryu. I've not opened a lot of Cosmo Blazer, but I do love, I love that cover card. It's really cool. All right, let's open up the next pack, which is the Lord of Tachyon. We opened 300 packs of this at one point, and it's been a while since I've opened much of it. I've opened a few packs since then, but we opened so much at one time. We got a Battle and Boxer. The CXC's Dark Fairy. So far, we are over for it, but it's it's early. We've got a lot of time to pull something good. Back to Shadow Spectres. I don't even know the total. I guess it's around like 30 packs, maybe something like that. So it's not going to be a crazy long video, but it'll have some pretty epic pulls. Hopefully, Survival of the Fittest rare set. Ghost Rick Spectre. Gotta get a tag. And the Burst Rebirth, another regular rare. Secret Secret Sect Druidru, the Vampire Kingdom, and the Skeletors. I think vampires are actually making a mini comeback, aren't they? What is it, What set is it that they were in? Is it Battles of Chaos that they're going to be in? Uh, I think they're going to be a little bit better. I don't think they're still going to be that great, according to what I've heard. As you guys know, I'm not a, you know, complete meta expert, so I don't know exactly what's going to be great. Oh! Rux and Special into the Stardust Shimmer. Pretty nice card. You always love to see the Stardust Shimmer. Very cool. Any Stardust cards are really nice. We got the Tier of Nordic Champions, uh, the Worm, and the Token Sunday. Cosmo Blazer. So that was a first edition holo, which is nice. Let's see if the Blazer can give us the Ghost Rare. This is the one I would want the Ghost Rare most, honestly. Even though we've never pulled Odin, we've never pulled this one. Uh, I've never pulled this one either. I do have it. It's in my uh, Blue Eyes deck. I just love the look of it. I think it looks really cool. Mermail Abyss Nose and a Hazy Flame Manticore. Wow. This brings me back to like a few years ago on Duel Links. Oh, Sphinx especially. These were both in the deck. Wow, that really brings me back. I know three years is not that long, but and it's like, how can you be nostalgic about three years? But like... Getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! with Duel Links, like, just that very first few months, really, like, those cards, I remember them so well. XYZ Block XZs, I should say. We've got the King of the Fair Limbs, Legendary, and... Mecha Phantom Beast, uh, Tether Wolf. Alright, Mimimic. Shadow Spectres is up next. So far, we've pulled one foil out of 80 packs. Uh, it's going about how it usually goes in these battles. Let's see if we can pull something good. Wyvern Buster, we got the Yukiona. Cha Cha Chan. Ghost Rick Spectre. Number 65 to Jin Buster. All right, we got, uh, we managed to, managed to say Buster eventually. Now I got something in my throat. The struggle is real. Not only can we not pull anything, but we can't speak. All right, Token Stampede. Legendary Six Samurai Shanae. Six Strike Triple Impact. 
Elemental Hero Ice Edge. We pulled this recently. Oh, it was when we opened the special edition. Yeah, this card's actually worth a few bucks, I think. So that's a pretty good one. Also, this Saturday, we're going to be doing a pretty epic opening. If you guys heard, have heard about Leonhardt's uh, mental awareness fundraiser campaign thing that he's doing, he does it every year. But he's included a few other creators, and I'm one of them. So he sent me a base set two pack. So it's not just going to be a Pokemon opening, so don't freak out. But we will be opening that pack as well as first edition invasion of chaos pack so that's this saturday you guys will want to be there if you guys want to support the uh oh, oh i thought that was an ultimate rare for some reason if you want to support the mental awareness uh health then that will be this saturday we're gonna have a link for it and you guys can uh, donate there it's gonna be really awesome should be a fun opening as well so it's gonna be a good video for you guys who uh, are not interested in donating it's totally okay if you don't want to but if you do want to support that uh, it will be going toward everything that he is putting together. Not toward him, but toward the actual mental awareness support. Big Whale, very nice. Uh, mental health, I should say, not mental awareness. It's going to be an epic video, and I cannot wait to do it. We have not filmed it yet, so I don't know if we're going to pull that Blackluster Soldier yet, but uh, hopefully. It'd be it'd be a great time in the name of uh, mental health. All right, Rarest Set. Number 65. So we have now pulled two super rares. This is fantastic. Two super rares so far. Can we get anything above a super rare? That would be great. This is reminding me a lot of the Retro Pack 2 opening, which if you guys missed it, go check it out. Uh, it was pretty fun. And then we... Oh, Barrier Resonator. Oh, Resonators, huh? Hmm, maybe you should watch Oxen series in a few weeks. Okay, Divine Relic. We got the... Oh, Forbidden Lance. That's a pretty good card, actually. That's a pretty good one. Forbidden Lance. We will take that. Oh, we got Stardust Phantom, Tyrant's Tirade, and Mimir. All right, so now three Super Rares. We still cannot get over an Ultra. We are working on it. We are working on it. We've got the XC's Double Back. Dimension Gate. This scorn. Garbage ogre. And the hazy flame manicor again. Brother of the Firefist Raven. Ooh, the bacon saver. That card is uh that card's pretty fun in duel links too for the uh, light sworn decks and stuff like that. Okay. Lord Attackion. Can we get something good, please? Glass jaw. Can we get an ultimate rare ghost rare or something like that? Or even a secret rare would be cool. Oh, the tri fortress tops. This card is an ultra rare in duel links, but I think it kind of sucks honestly what does it do again if your opponent summon three or more monsters this turn you can special summon this card it's actually it's probably better now than it used to be when it first came out nobody was special summoning that many cards uh, in terms of dual links but uh at this point i guess people were starting to you know do it a lot in real in real Yu-Gi-Oh. secret wait 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 how do we just pass the pump princess and not mention it very nice the bujingi boar <laughs> and the mecha phantom beast cal griffin all right mythic water dragon it's a decent card okay this has been uh it hasn't been good so far. It has not been good. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, though. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I mean, I know we had 100,000, but I don't know if you've heard, but the legendary 111111 is coming up. Not soon, but eventually, and that will be really cool to hit that. I'm excited about that. Top runner. Oh! Okay, we rucks and specialed into nothing. Zero force. Yeah, that, that's the next goal. One, 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 one. It's just going to be a funny number. We'll probably be on it for like two seconds. We'll just, you know, everyone will it'll probably be a live stream and then everyone will be uh, trying to hit it at the same time. And then we'll just go over it by a bunch. Then they'll unsub. You know, you guys know how it goes if you've been to the live streams. They're pretty fun, though. I do enjoy them. Uh, XZ's Dimension Splash. And the Blackwing Gladius the Midnight Sun. All right. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. We have an Aurora Wing. Reacting. King of the Feral Imps. Battle and Boxer Glass Jaw. Do a barrel roll. That's that's not that's not great. Alright. Three foils. Three foils. This is not good. And not only are they three foils, they're three super rares. So yeah, we haven't pulled much. We got the Stein. We got the Battle and Boxer. We got the uh, Magicalized Dust and Mop. Uh Yukiona. And the Secret Sanctuary of the Spellcasters. This is not feeling too good. How many packs have we opened? Like, we still have a bunch left. Like, is this like 40 packs? This might be like 40 packs. It's like 30 to 40 packs. Surely we're going to get something, right? We're going to get something decent. That's not a super. I hope so. Barrier Resonator. We got the Cyber Shield. The Zvartolf of the Nordic Alpha. All right. Another super. Um, Okay. Not, not, not the best. Four supers so far. No Ultras. No Secrets. No Ultis. And no ghosts. We can change that right here, though. Change that right here. Fire Formation Tensu. And that thing is straight up damage on the top. Zero, zero, rock. Zero, zero. I've never heard of that card. Tencent. I'm sure I've opened it before. Ultimate Shield. And the Slacker Magician. Well, was that Downer Magician, but slacking off? I didn't even know that card existed either. Cosmo Blazer, I have not opened a lot of. So maybe I haven't actually I've seen that other card. All right. There's got to be some high rarity, right? Mermail Abyss Osea, Parsec, Fire King Avatar, Mind Drain. There's the uh, the, the Hada. That's cool. And the uh, Dark Fairy Cheer Girl again. The Shark Fortress. Okay. 
This is rough. This is rough. Uh, we've got a Ghostric Scare, Malaseverus Fork, Ghostric Stein, Battle of and Rib Gardena, Swords at Dawn. Wow, this is like, we're doing really bad. Okay, uh, Storm of Ragnarok, on to the next one. It's not feeling too good right now. Not feeling too good. We've got the Tyrant's Tirade, Sheen Squire, Goddard Marone, Mimir of the Nordic Ascendant, Doppel Warrior. Oh my goodness. Four, four supers so far. Oh, look. Look at this one. Already opened. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I think... I think GG Vision may have gotten these from somewhere that they were maybe resealed. I think that's a good chance of that. Um, it's There's a good chance. So let's check. I, it just feels like the ratios are not good. That one was opened. Uh... I know he didn't do it. Obviously, that's not what we're that's not what we're discussing here. But um, it, with the ratios, maybe we'll pull something good. Maybe it was just a one of. You know, if we pull something good, there's another super, a Ghost Fairy, Elphobia. But it just seems like uh, it could maybe these could be messed with. I'll have to ask him where he got them from. Maybe they're actually from like boxes or something. Which if they are, then they're fine. But yeah, that that being open was definitely. I think one of the ones I opened earlier felt like it was open too. So I've kind of been trying to pay attention to maybe see if anything's going on. Cha cha chan. Uh, which is, I mean, it's not the biggest deal ever if, if they are, you know what I mean? Uh, but, uh, oh, there's a secret rare. Okay, okay, so we finally got something else. Ignoble of High Lawn Selin. Okay, maybe it was just that one pack. Or maybe it's like he got some of these from somewhere. Maybe, what was it? Was it the Tachyon that was open? Maybe, like, they were, had been messed with or something. And then, like, the Shadow Spectres were okay. I feel like last time, we didn't we pull everything out of Shadow Spectres too? The Shadow Spectres seem to be okay because we've pulled a couple of things out of there. We'll see. I mean, you never know with these old packs. It's kind of the risk when you're opening these um, that it could happen. So let's just see if we can pull something else. It's all for fun anyway and for the entertainment. So, oh, another secret rare. All right. So, may, all right. I think the uh, Storm of Ragnarok are probably okay then. This is not like the best secret rare ever, but I feel like you would not leave a secret rare in there anyway. So, Scrap Breaker, back to back secrets. Maybe they're all just sitting at the bottom. And one suspicious pack kind of threw us off. So, that's that's good. That's what I'm glad to see. Now, let's see if we can pull a ghost rare real quick. Do 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 bot. Firefish Raven. Tensu. Bacon Saver. Save the bacon when we pulled those secrets. Another Abyss Dine. Nice. I think that card's actually okay, too. Sphinx as well. Very nice. Still a few packs left. Let's check out these Tachyon. Maybe that was the sketchy one. Okay, this one seems to be okay. It's not opened. That one's not open. Okay, so maybe this pack's fine. Let's see. I have no idea where the origin of these is, so, you know, there's really no way to know if you don't know the origin. Uh, but, uh, green dust that's why box breaks are cool because you know exactly where it came from you don't have to worry about anything and if it is open and it's you know like not legit then you're gonna be fine because you just get your money back eight more packs it's actually a longer opening than i thought it was like i thought it was gonna be like 25 30 packs and it feels like it's more like 40 all right bajingi boar white dragon battle and boxer battle and boxer cheat commissioner all right all right ragnarok on to the next one yeah we got a secret out of the sucker let's see what we can pull here Will we one day get the Odin is the question. Uh, I don't know if we will at this point. I'm, I'm losing faith, but you just got to believe. Oh, we just rocking specials. Right into the Valkyrie of the Nordic Ascent. Another super rare. We will take that. Not bad. Barrier Barrier Resonator. Blackwing Kalima the Haze. Cosmoblazer. Come on. Just give us the ghost. I don't care if it's unlimited. I don't care. I just want it. Fire Formation Tensu. Tensin, not Tensu. Zero Zerok. Garbage Lord. The gar Okay, Garbage Lord. I mean, is that not an epic card? Garbage Lord. That's awesome. <laughs> And the brother of the Firefist spirit. Oh! There it is! It's not the ghost, but it's the ulti number 92 Heart Earth Dragon. This card's really expensive, but it was never reprinted. It's like Air, it's like Aaron Neos in the fact that it has like multiple versions in the same set. There's Ultra, Ulti, and Ghost in this set, and it was never reprinted after that. So this card's actually pretty, pretty pricey. That is awesome. So it looks like I think that these three are definitely all a gem. We've pulled a secret, secret, ulti. These, have we pulled anything besides supers? We've gotten one super from here, but obviously it's a low amount of packs, so that could just be normal. I'm starting to lean towards just that one pack was messed up. It's possible that wasn't even messed with. Maybe it just, you know, eventually opened up, which can happen, but it, it has to be like pretty worn like these packs are. Uh, Shark Fortress. So yeah, feeling pretty good. That's one of my favorite cards that we could open. Taka. Taka. Taka Takawa Knight, Battle and Boxer. 
Oh, and a mermail abyss baleen. So it looks like we were right. It, or we were wrong, and then we were right. It might have just been that one pack. Very nice. We just happened to open all the bad packs at first, and then we open an open pack. So it's like, oh, this is definitely messed with. Nope, they're not. They're not. GG Vision, he's good to go. His packs are good. So, uh, yeah, let's. Hopefully, we can beat him now at least. He'll probably pull a Ghost Row though. Tan Tan, Archfiend Giant, and Spectre. Three packs remaining. This has been a roller coaster, and it definitely ended nicely because I really love the Harder's Dragon. That's one of my, uh, honestly, one of my favorite cards, especially Xyz Monsters. <laughs> Ruxin Special! <laughs> well, on Hydra, I pull this every time, too. I feel like I always pull this gun. Two more packs. The Ruxin Special, it ruined the suspense there. All right, we pulled the ulti. What's to say we can't pull the ghost? I'm down. I'm down with the Garbage Lord, the Legend, the Tensu. Zero Xerox. Tensu. Ruxin special again, the Artorigus King of the Noble Knights. And I remember pulling this the other day. This guy's like a $6 Ultra, so his ulti is probably going to be at least decent. That's such a cool card. This is another Duel Links card. Back-to-back -back ultis out of that set. Wow. Final pack. I I'm sorry I doubted you, packs, because yeah, they wanted to prove me wrong. They're like, dude, you will get something good. You just got to be patient. Radius, Spellbook of Miracles, Battle and Boxer. All right, let's not Ruxin special. We got the counter punch, and okay, it's after this altitude night, and the glass jaw. Okay, okay, that's fine. This was an awesome opening. Make sure you guys go check out GG Vision's video as well to see if he beat us. We actually pulled pretty well. Two ultimate rares, two secret rares, and one of those ultis is actually super nice. So let's see if he can beat us with like a ghost like he did last time. I think he had two last time, actually. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Toe Show, Tomato Juice, Cody J, Hawaiian Yu-Gi-Oh, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Appreciate you guys supporting the channel, and I will see you guys later. Peace.